actually we about to get to the discussion of the judgment that's gonna come up on the two thirds of our people for their rebellion and disobedience against the most high. Every day we get and we got we come out here, you have the men of the Lord prophesying, giving the two thirds the knowledge, the knowledge of the most high of the kingdom to come and truth and salvation that can save you from the upcoming times. But they they turn the other ear and walk away and be a rebellious nation. So we just gonna get into a few scriptures, let them know what the most high gonna do to them. Yeah. This is Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. Do you see that every day? When the men of the Lord, they out here prophesying, giving them these gold nuggets, giving them the truth, and revealing to them the upcoming things that are going to happen. They walk away, they want to be into other things, they want to say we bugged out, we out our mind, don't know what we talking about. Basically, they come up against us and scoff and condemn everything with the most I see. They destroy for a lack of knowledge because they've been dumbed down and don't want to learn the truth. They ignorant and a rebellious house that turned away from the most High. He gave us law, statutes, and commandments, and they do the opposite of it. That's why the most High say that they are destroyed, for they have no knowledge, meaning they don't want this knowledge. You give them the truth, and they walk away from it. And with that happening, the most High is going to rain destruction on them. By them being, by our nation of Israel being rebellious and not coming to the Most High, He gonna turn His back on them and give them utter destruction. This is Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And you see that? You see that with two-thirds, the other heathen of our nation, they want to be into all other philosophies and suffer with the most high game, with the law, statutes, and commandments, how to, how to gain knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. They want to be worried about the basketball games, the football games, then they get into other philosophies of the heathens. They want to be Muslims, they want to be Islamics, they want to be Catholicism, but they want to do everything but what the most high gave them to them. And when they do these things, they go even more wicked. They do things thinking that they're righteous, but they actually been more sinful than what you see to the eye. All right, I'm going to add to what the verse is saying. It's a scripture that says that our people always step over us to see the deeds of the wicked. Meaning when they do something, when Jake do something wicked, oh, Jake oversees the bounds of the wicked. So if Jake becomes a homosexual, he get the whole get up. He get, he get the makeup, the box card, the dress, the heels, wig, everything. He get a sex change. You know, Jake becomes a drug dealer. He goes all out with it, man. He want to get a million guns. He want to have a, he want to have a black car. He want to be that guy. Good Our word. people add sin to sin. There's no righteousness in them. And that's why the Most High are going to destroy them because in order to build the righteous kingdom, you got to purge all the wickedness out because it's going to be rebellious and you can't have rebellion in a successful kingdom. So that's why the Most High got to destroy these two I had the one you I got myself one you hold. This is Hosea 10 and 31. It says, It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And that's true because we all we all at one point before we came to this truth was in the world and the most high didn't gave brothers wake up calls in the E as other brothers like to say, let that experience is to what the most high could do something more crucial to you than what Esau can, than what the other two-thirds Jace can. You don't want to feel him that can kill the body, but him that kill the body and the soul. That's right, the most high is a dreadful power. He don't play. When he punish you, he's going to go all out. He's not going to give you no slap on the wrist unless it's mercy. When it's judgment, he going to he going to kick your ass to the max. And he going to let you know before he do it that it's him who's giving you this own judgment. That's right, man. You got something? Yeah. Just have something to go back to what you were saying about how these niggas follow different philosophies because they think it's the right thing, but it's not. This is uh, Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Right, man. Because we know sin is the wages of death. 
and they eyes, they think that they doing righteousness, but they doing all the wicked things that you can even imagine. And that's why the Most High is going to give them that. Because whatever you whatever you put out is what's going to come up on you. If you being a wicked nigga out here, then the Most High is going to kill you as a wicked nigga. I say, but you reap what you sow. So mm -hmm. you sow wickedness, you're going to reap. No? That was it on that? No. I got this one right here. This is Ezekiel 21 and 9. It says, Son of man, prophesy and say, the dust of the Lord say, a sword, a sword is sharpened, and also furbish. It is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. It is furbish that it make it be glistening. Such we did make mirth. It can it contended with the rod of my son as every tree, and it has given it to be furbish that it may be hand, handled. This sword is sharpened. It is it is furbish to give it to give it into the hands of the slayer. Cry aloud, son of man, for it, is, it shall be upon my people. And we know that sharp sword is Esau. You know? It says, uh, it shall be upon my people. It shall be upon all the uh, uh, princes of Israel. Terrors by the reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smit thereof with, upon the die. Shit hit the fan and Esau, Esau come out with these race rides. Esau's gonna take him out. He gonna destroy our people first because he mainly gonna be going after the elect and the Most High is the reason why Esau's gonna do that. Cause the Most High is gonna get him the power to be able to take down the two thirds of the wicked because the righteous elect they gonna be spared. But see these two thirds for their wickedness. That's why the Most High is sending Esau as that sharp sword because you know what you use a sword for to go to war. When you go on the wall, you go into what? Kill and slaughter. That's right, man. I got that to play right here. This is uh, Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in the land, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will, will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. You see that now? These two thirds, they gonna die in the one third. That's the whole thing that he's building up because when you use when you take gold and silver and put it in the furnace to refine it you're making it more pure so he's building us from being the low all the way up into the righteous hopeful elective we are that number that's why he said two thirds are going to die and that one third is going to be delivered through salvation through Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and that's what we hoping for because we know in the upcoming times once the martial law the chip the chip implemented and Jacob's trouble, a lot of people are going to die, but previously, as I said in the beginning of the video, you have to kill the wickedness in order to get a, to get a righteous kingdom established. So right. they have to get they have to get killed because they're not following the program. They're not with us, so they're against us. So if they're against us, they're against the Most High. And that's his punishment that he's going to send to them. Right. 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 But with that, it was... It was short and edifying. Hopefully, everybody was edified. We're going to give all praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the brothers around the four winds pushing this truth and sincerity. Shalom.